right now we're going to look at some tools of the audio and podcasting trade. First off is the lowly microphone cable, also known as an XLR cable. It's got two ends. One is the female end, which has holes in it. This is the end that you plug into your microphone. The other end is the male end, which has prongs in it. And this one you plug into your mixer or your audio interface. Next up, microphones, what we actually use to record the voice. On the right hand side here, we've got a dynamic microphone. This is a microphone that you can just plug straight in and use. It doesn't need any power, but you tend to need to boost the volume on them a little bit more. They're not quite as sensitive. Over here we have something called a condenser microphone. Now after you plug this in, you have to make sure that it gets power, something called 48 volt phantom power. It's a little switch on your interface. So that makes this a much more sensitive mic, but the downside is that it does require that power to work. And since you don't want to be hanging on to your microphones the whole time you use them, there's a couple of different ways that you can get those hung up. So we've got this called a shock mount, and that's typically used for a microphone of this style. The mic slots in like this, and then this end screws into your microphone stand, and it's all ready to go. These guys don't usually get something quite that fancy. Uh, they get something called a mic clip, which is one of these. A little simpler, just slots in like that. Give it a little wiggle. And again, thread it at the bottom to screw onto your microphone stand. One other important accessory to go along with microphones is something called the pop filter or pop shield. Now that'll usually be Let's just get these guys out of the way for a second. Usually be some kind of foam, something like this. And one of these guys will just slip over the top and you're all set. And what that does is any air that comes out of your mouth, it's going to get broken up by this foam and it's not going to go in like a big pow, pow. This is the other style of pop shield. It's mesh in a ring on a gooseneck. So this is something you can crank around and bend around and as long as you put it in front of your microphone between the microphone and you then you will have the same protection.